guys in here. And these are actually on the American Endangered Species Act, and they have been since the 1970s, okay? Which means I need to have a CBW permit, a captive bred wildlife permit, to keep this species. Which means it needs to come from someone who bred it in captivity. Um, they can't be brought into the country anymore, and they can't be sold, traded, or transported over state lines without that permit, okay? This turtle is a yellow-headed po podoc, or Podoc nemes um, unifilis, and it is, uh, this was commonly, uh, this was sold commonly in dime stores in the 1960s uh, with red-eared sliders, so you get these for a dime, and um, they took them so much that they thought that um, they needed to be put on the endangered species list because there's not as many of them left anymore. People in South America, where it's from, also eat its eggs, and they think it's an aphrodisiac, and it Whoa. also makes... <laughs> they also yes, yeah, yeah. but they also think they also think that that um, it will help men be more fertile and um, you know do a little better. We know what you'd be in the bedroom. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so this is. <laughs> so this is a very special species and a very beautiful turtle. I'll pass it around so everyone can see it, but um, this turtle and the other three here will be going to the Beardsley Zoo in Connecticut, which is an AZA institution. One of our turtles. From the, um, it's the Association of Zoos and Aquariums, so it's an official zoo, and this will be an official part of, of what they're doing there. They have a wonderful rainforest exhibit where they keep... Um, where they keep yeah. turtles from South America that require How acidic they water. Get? They get pretty large. Yeah. They do get pretty large. So it's not it's not a good pet turtle. So they to check out more educational resources about turtles and tortoises, please visit theturtleroom.com slash education.